Hey y'all, I'm Elisa, the Scrappy Wife behind ScrappyWife.com. Let's plan for Christmas week. Today, I am planning for the week of Christmas, and I'm really excited to use these stickers from Live Love Posh because I just think they're some of the most beautiful Christmas stickers I've ever seen. So I'm excited to use those. I've also pulled out winter boxes from Mojo Jojo Plans because I'm thinking that A, the dark blue goes really well, and then I thought the gold might be a fun touch for, you know, a little little glitz for winter. So that's what I'm going to do or for Christmas. That's what I'm going to use. I'll probably pull in a little bit of washi tape as well. It's going to be a lot of decor this particular week because there's not a ton of plans, which is super fun. So I will link the things that I use down in the description box below. I do have a discount code for Live Love Posh, so be sure to check that out. Otherwise, I'll put you all on fast forward. Let's go. This is definitely one of those spreads that came together pretty easily, which I was very pleased with. I love the ending look of this one. It's not your typical red and green Christmas, but I think it is beautiful and meaningful and I cannot wait to fill it in. So we're starting with a little bit of grid washi here at the bottom. I knew I was going to have several different places for scenes in this and I love how washi kind of grounds a page and grounds a scene. So you'll see me use it in that way a lot of different times. I actually pulled out two washies, including one from the Happy Planner that is from the Grace Place collection uh, from the Happy Planner. And it is a beautiful, bright blue washi that I thought um, would go really nicely. So let's start out. Let's put some of these florals in the corner. Sometimes you're going to see me using white out to white out some of the lines. Sometimes like with these florals, it just doesn't bug me that much. So I'm just not going to worry about it. We'll do some florals down here. I wanted to do florals up the top. I thought this one would be nice up at the top, but then it just, I don't know, something about it was just a little bit off. I didn't think it would look good with a vertical box over in the sidebar. So I think I'll probably end up putting it at the bottom. You can see I'm like having all these stickers on my fingers as I try to figure out what I wanted to do. I want the nativity scene at the bottom. We will do some whiteout in this case because I don't want it to interrupt the scene. So let's start with the florals. Again, kind of mirroring, anchoring, giving a little symmetry to the spread. And then we have this beautiful scene of Bethlehem and the nativity um, right there. I'm just going to pull a little whiteout in to make sure that it doesn't interrupt the scene. A little more here at the top, which truthfully I end up covering this up with a sticker just a little bit, the tops of the mountains. But I love that the scene is nestled there in the corner to start out uh, that Christmas day week. And now I want to bring in a little bit of that bright blue washi. Yes, it's a brighter blue. It's not quite the blue um, that is in these stickers from Live Love Posh, but I love that it had a little bit of silver and it said, be known for your kindness and grace, which I thought was just a beautiful sentiment for this particular week. I'm just adjusting this one ever so slightly so that it is symmetrical with what is happening over on the right hand side. All right. I love that for the start of this and I love these stickers. So I wasn't really sure that I would be super into the like hollow glitter look for the stickers, but I think it's so special for Christmas week. There's my florals that I wanted at the top and I think it just popped really nicely with the blue and the pink. And I'm so pleased with how this all came together. All right. So the 25th, we actually leave on Christmas Day to go visit family. So I thought a checklist would probably be helpful, kind of those last minute things to grab and throw in your bags. And then um, a large box where I could write down all of the travel info. So we will get that down right there. And then I layered the angel coming from behind it. That kind of leaves this awkward white space at the bottom. So I thought it would be a good place to 
layer on a box of some sort, we will be visiting family. So it's not like I have a ton of plans I need to write down, but I thought this would be fun for writing down the few plans we do have, because we do in fact have um, some plan scheduled, but also a few memory keeping things. And then at the end of the week, we do head back. And of course there will be all the prep for the new year. So definitely need some room to write over there. Every time I'm looking to add a box, I'm trying to make sure that there is a decorative sticker near it. Like I said, I have plenty of room to decorate on this particular spread. So let's really embrace that. That's a sweet one with it brings the pink up there and there wasn't any pink up there. So that works out really well. I figured on Sunday we would need a box for travel info and I wanted to bring in another lined box because we have the lined one over in the sidebar. So to balance that out just a little bit and then I think a task list for when we get home. I'm someone... Do you, how long do you leave up all of your Christmas decorations? Let me know down in the comments below. I like mine down before the new year, but we're leaving on Christmas day and we're coming back. Um, so I think that's a little, it's going to be hard for me to get my Christmas decorations down on the 31st. That might have to wait till the first. We'll kind of see how it goes. Then we have our wise men who of course did not come the week of Christmas, but that's okay. We're going to include them in this scene and a little gold box over here. Again, a place to record memories, things that are going on while we visit family. And I'm just kind of planning out where I'm going to want some of these other items, how it will balance out the spread, a few checklists here and there, trying to balance out the dark blue and the gold. I just think they go so well together. I think it's a very pretty complimentary look. I wanted to include uh, this gorgeous sticker of the Virgin Mary and the baby Jesus. I thought those uh, it's just beautiful. I love the illustrations for this. Again, I need to pull out the white out because I don't want a line going through um, this particular section. And I do want it behind this gold sticker. So I have to very gently peel. Yes, I tore it just a little bit. Shocker. I move stickers around. That's just what I do. It's who I am. It's what I do. And I've learned to embrace it. And I just work around any issues that come up. It would be great if I never moved a sticker ever. Um, that would be impressive, but it's just not how my creative brain works. All right. I want to make room for a few more functional boxes here and there and a couple decorative stickers, but that's going to be it for real. This one came together so easily, which is such a refreshing change because sometimes when I'm creating a ton of planner spreads, they start to a little bit be a struggle. This one came in so easily and I just love, love, love how it came out and I cannot wait to fill it in. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Consider hitting that subscribe button as well as the bell notification button. As always, I will link the supplies that I used down in the description box below so you can check all of those out. I want to give a huge shout out to all of my Patreon members. We had a fantastic year in 2023 and I have big plans for 2024 over on Patreon. Now is a fabulous time to join us to kick off the new year in a creative way. We would love to have you. You can head on over and start your free trial today. All right. I hope that you have a fabulous day and as always keep it creative.